If there is a fruit or vegetable in storage in Michigan, it's undoubtedly in excellent shape thanks to the work of Dr. Randy Beaudry, professor specializing in post-harvest physiology at Michigan State University. The relationship that I have with the growers is uh, the growers, and then I'm extending this to also to the packers as well as the shippers, is a very close one. So I'll be out tomorrow on a growers, uh, uh, in a grower's orchard picking up fruit for our storage trials that we have here. I couldn't do it without the growers. We don't have the resources within the experiment station currently to grow fruit at seven different locations throughout the state or ten different locations throughout the state. And so we have to rely on our grower partners for this. And while we compensate the growers for the fruit that we sometimes pull off of their uh, properties, very often we'll find the growers will say, you know, it's good enough that we're just part of the project and they'll donate $500 or $1,000 worth of fruit um, without a backward glance. And it's a really wonderful relation, very close relationship that we have with the growers here in the state. Once the fruit makes it to MSU, it finds its way to the lower level of the Plant and Soil Sciences Building, where Dr. Beaudry does his work. Two years ago, new storage facilities were installed, thanks in great part to financial support from the apple industry. They're made up of rooms, chambers within the rooms, and a computer control system providing an airtight environment. Dr. Boudre has been a, been a great asset to the apple industry. Uh, he's helped uh, inspire a lot of our uh, younger kids, uh, young students that are started at MSU, uh, working with uh, new technology in the storage uh, storing of apples. Um, the lab has been a great uh, update. Uh, if you'd have looked at that lab uh, five, six years ago, uh, you'd have been pretty disappointed with it uh, as the apple committee got uh, actively involved and also a lot of shippers. Um, money's poured in there and uh, uh, Randy has upgraded that lab to make it a state-of-the-art uh, lab, uh, which is uh, it, it's, it's uh, commendable for all the work he's done there and, and uh, storing with all the new varieties we're working with. The Honeycrisp is one that he's done a lot of work with. That's, a, that's an apple that we still haven't yet figured out. One of the favored apples, I think, in the consumer's heart, and certainly it is here in Michigan since it's one of our most profitable and most widely uh, planted uh, varieties currently. Uh, but the Honeycrisp apple uh, it presents several different problems associated with its production but also with its storage, and I focus primarily on the storage aspects of it. So it has problems with bitter pit, it has problems with uh, low temperature sensitivity to, uh, pardon me, sensitivity to low temperatures. It has problems with sensitivity to carbon dioxide and low oxygen as well. So those are the kinds of problems that we're trying to address here to come up with protocols that reduce that sensitivity to those particular storage problems. And in so doing, uh, wind up with maybe a better pack out, better yield for the grower at, at the end. There's a common thread among those in the fruit and vegetable industry in Michigan when you ask them about Dr. Beaudry. Invariably, at some point, they use the word respect. Randy is an outstanding specialist. He's a good friend, too. He's a wonderful person to work with, friendly, smart, very intelligent. He's worked on uh, MCP, the introduction of MCP to the industry. It's, he's been instrumental in helping introduce that to Michigan apple growers. And has worked a long time in post-harvest and apple maturity. He's a diamond. Dr. Poudry is highly respected, not only from the people he's worked with in Michigan, but throughout the United States and the world. Uh, you can sense the amount of respect that Dr. Poudry has generated by the participants that he has to the uh, Michigan State CA Clinic, which currently is held every other year. This year he had Sylvia Blankenship, who was the uh, research assistant North Carolina State University who discovered the 1-MCP molecule and also Ennis Hanrahan for his counterpart from the state of Washington. So with the respect that he's generated, uh, he's also able to tap in on expertise and actually incredible expertise and the respect he has, they're more than happy to come and uh, help him out with his various projects. The admiration and respect for Dr. Beaudry's work goes beyond that with growers, packers, and shippers. It extends back to those he works with at Michigan State University. I think he may not realize, maybe he does, but I think he does serve as a role model not only for young faculty and on this floor in the building in particular, a lot of young faculty getting involved in aspects of post-harvest physiology and fruit and vegetable production. 
as well as existing faculty. Randy served as chair for a couple years of the department, so he had the chance to formally uh, work with a number of faculty, and I think uh, they all appreciated that. But I think just on a daily basis, uh, his work ethic, his energy, his enthusiasm, and so forth are, are infectious, and it's hard for someone to be around that and, and either not change their pattern to emulate that or realize that they're on the right track. Along with taking care of what grows, Dr. Beaudry is pleased to be able to help groom those who will be Michigan's future growers. Another one of the things that I really do like about my relationship with the growers here in the state of Michigan is so many of them have sent their sons and daughters to work in my laboratory. Uh, from asparagus growers uh, to folks who work in the ornamentals industry to the apple growers of the state. So I've had rashes and Dietrichs and Chases and uh, Umlers, you name it, uh, coming through the laboratory. And hopefully they've all, and the Schwalliers, I can't forget, I've had three of their kids in my laboratory. But I have to say that's been also one of the nice relationships because even though I may work on a seasonal basis with the folks that actually run the farms to work with their kids and then follow those kids throughout their career, through their marriages and so forth, that's really made me uh, I guess kind of a, a part of the community in a way that wouldn't happen if I didn't have that linkage. Randy uh, has been a second father to my children. Three of my four children have gone to Michigan State and all three of them have worked in Randy's post-harvest lab. I've always told my kids, if you get in trouble, you call Dr. Randy Beaudry. With Michigan State since 1989, Dr. Randy Beaudry is appreciative of all those who have worked with him along the way. If I had to reflect a little bit and we're, you know, I'm only midway through my career, I guess I would say, but I have to say that I really treasure the relationship that I have with the, app, the apple industry in particular, but with the horticulture industries here in the state of Michigan. I've never met a more wonderful, you know, open-armed group of people to work with on a regular basis. Uh, they're generous to a fault. Uh, they're honest in their dealings with me. They're very forthright. Uh, they follow up. They follow through, that sort of thing. Uh, it's been a very good relationship that I've had. And I have to say, looking back on my career here at Michigan State, there have been all sorts of challenges. And that's been one of those things that really has eased those challenges, I have to say. It's a wonderful, rewarding relationship that we've developed. For his commitment to quality, his willingness to mentor, and his ability to achieve, the Michigan State Horticulture Society is pleased to honor Dr. Randy Beaudry with the 2010 Distinguished Service Award.